Well, Nick sounds like a really good guy. He's energetic. He sounds very outgoing. And he said something that I thought was interesting. He said, nothing crazy happened either way. It wasn't like, oh my gosh, I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Or, and nothing was like, never talk to me again. Like he said, it was just he down the middle. He his mom on the date. So, right, right. Yeah. <laughs> this was like down the road, down the middle of the road date. And he goes, it was, it was fun. And he listens to the show. So he's like, I know what you guys are asking for. And sure. nothing like that happened. So. All right. So let's do this. We are going to, uh, we actually have Julia on hold. We're going to bring her back on. She has agreed to talk to us on the air. Let's do that. Julia. Hey guys. Hey Julia, I, I I appreciate you so much uh, talking to Kevin off the air and then coming on with us. And I know you went on a date with Nick. You guys went to the pier. You guys went to Doc Ford's. He said things went really well with you guys. And I'll say it again. He said it was just like a real uh, casual date where things didn't get too serious and and nothing got out of hand. And he just was having fun. And now he has not heard from you and he wants to see you again. And we're just trying to figure out if we could set that up or not. Okay, honestly, the only reason I'm doing this is to really just put him on blast oh. for how inappropriate and rude he was during that date. Okay. Uh-oh. What happened? So, we were at the pair hanging out, and we're just walking and watching the sunset, and Nick decides to drop to one knee and do, like, a whole big fake proposal. What? <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, right? like, a whole speech... People were gathering around. It was so <gasps> embarrassing and inappropriate. Oh. And I'm just like, is this a show? Like, he kept going on and on oh. and on. He put How you on the spot. That? I have no idea. It wasn't funny. And as more people gathered, he got even louder. And it was just like, I wanted to just disappear. This is not funny to me. And uh. then, like, at the end, he just, like, jumps up. And he's just like, oh, it was a joke or whatever. I, I was just... Uh, I couldn't. I was like, why would you do this? What were people around you doing? Were they like clapping and happy for you? And you're just yes. like, oh, my people gosh. People were taking photos. <sighs> now, did, now, did he tell everybody it was a joke, including you? At the end, yeah. yeah. He announced it like he was done with his production. <laughs> production. Oh. I, you know, listen, I'm down for a good joke. But I understand oh. you being very uncomfortable in that situation. Not a proposal. Oh, and it was the first date. It's not like we have this long history of joking back and forth. Sure, I get it. You don't know me. I get it. I get it. So you were no. really put off by that, obviously, and very embarrassed. Yeah. Did you say anything to him? Honestly, I was like, I was livid. I, I know I was just like, there was only a few minutes left of the date, and I was just like, I'm just going to go home after this. So I, I was just quiet. Like, but the energy was completely different. This was, it wasn't like, it wasn't fun. It wasn't funny. It was just rude and inappropriate. Maybe he really has like strong feelings for you and just wanted to see what you'd say or something. Uh, Honestly, I just think he's a jerk. Um, well, here's the deal, Julia. We actually have Nick uh, with us on the phone. I want to bring him back on because I did not know that. Uh, it seems like a pretty big part. Nick, you there? Yeah, I'm here. So, man, this joke kind of backfired really? on you, it sounds like. It backfired on me. I, I can't believe what I'm hearing, that you're literally this bent out of shape from that joke. Oh, my God. It was just kidding around. You're like, are you serious that you're really upset yeah, about it? I'm serious that it made me uncomfortable. It was disrespectful and just rude. Why would you amass a freaking audience what? for a joke with a, a woman you don't even know yet? Disrespectful. Life is about enjoying it, having fun, loosening up. I didn't realize I was you kicking out fun? someone you from the real housewives of St. Pete. I believe ninety percent of the people that were on that pier knew it was a joke. Okay, you don't joke with someone you don't know and make them uncomfortable. And the, and it, it, it's just it was a hundred percent inappropriate. Like there's just nothing else for me to say. You know, if you wanted to do some kind of joke like that, you could at least like, hey, hey, do you want to participate in this in this in this nonsense? I and mean, give me that freedom. Like, you want me to like, email you jokes that? in advance? Is that what you want me to do? <laughs> you know, it, jokes well, obviously, it wasn't for me. It was for all of the people in the pair. And they all had a great time, except for you. That's the problem. I, I, you weren't uh, on a date. With me. I did. You want a date with me? I mean, Nick, okay. you did put her on the spot. You see that, right? I mean, I, I'm like I said, I'm down for a good joke, but you did put her on the spot, and it can make someone feel uncomfortable. If you guys were there, you guys would see that it was so over-the-top joking. Like, everybody thought it was a joke and that there was a funny thing. It wasn't like it was a real proposal. Like, oh, my God, we've been dating, like, two years, three years, and you know I don't want to get married to you, whatever. And then you propose, and I had to say no in front of everybody. That's my neighborhood. Do you understand? People are taking photos. I'm going to see those people again. <laughs> I won't see them. Why won't I see them? I live there. 
<laughs> oh, oh, I'm sorry. You're running for election. You're the mayor. I didn't realize everybody knows wow. you as St. Pete. My bad. So I see you guys are getting along well here. <laughs> I mean, yeah, holy Nick. cow, go. man. Yeah, Nick, I'm starting to see why she didn't call you back because I, I don't think that you're uh, her type of guy, to be honest with you. You know, I had to waste my time going out with someone who, who was just looking for drama. Well, it sounds like a, a fake proposal. It's pretty dramatic. I mean, that's uh, exactly. that's, that's, that's pretty wild. I, I, I don't think she's looking for drama at all. Yeah, I don't think yeah, she's looking for that yeah, kind of attention. Yeah, definitely trying to gaslight me, and I'm really glad this is on the radio at this point so everyone can hear how insane you are. All right, well, listen, guys. It's obviously not going to work out. Nick, wow. now you know why she wasn't getting back to you. A joke just kind of backfired. Julia, thanks for your mm-hmm. time this morning. I'm sorry you were embarrassed, um, and I wish you both luck. Thanks. thanks. All right. Holy cow. Well, listen, here's the deal. Uh, uh, if I was a person spectating this, I would have cracked up, and that would yes. have been hilarious, and I, I apologize for that, but I, I understand being put on the, I put been on the like, spot. I would have been like, oh my gosh, I would have killed my date for doing something like that. I <laughs> would mean, you have laughed, that, though? I mean, me, but that's, a lot of girls, That's you don't want to, that's not a joke no, thing. you don't do that. Yeah. Um, I mean, I, because then what happens if it ever does happen? You're never going to. Well, like, then that's you can't say I cried wolf after like, you know, one date here. I don't I I wouldn't like it. I don't All know. Right, I want to know what you think right now. 800-992-1099. 800-992-1099.